Find the power series representation for the following function. Also find the interval of convergence. The function is natural log of absolute value 2 plus 3x. And we know that the power series for 1 over 1 minus x is given by this, okay, which is a geometric series with, uh, abs uh, with common ratio less than 1. When the common ratio, absolute value of common ratio is less than 1, then this is true. So whenever we have a fraction like this, 1 over 1 minus x, then we can write the corresponding power series. But the problem, we have natural log of 2 plus 3x. So as we know, we can differentiate or integrate power series term by term. Let's try to find the derivative or integration. Okay, uh, Derivative is easier to find. So we kind of work backward for now to get some idea. So let's find the derivative of natural log of 2 plus 3x and see what we get okay natural log of absolute something is 1 over that which is 2 plus 3x times the derivative of this inside which is 3 so this is basically 3 over 2 plus 3x okay that means anti-derivative of 3 over 2 plus 3x with respect to x is natural log of 2 plus 3x. So to find the power series for natural log of absolute 2 plus 3x, we want to find the power series for 3 over 2 plus 3x. This is kind of, this is a fraction and we can rewrite in the form of 1 over 1 minus x. So find the power series for this and integrate with respect to x we get the power series for natural log of 2 plus 3x. So we need to start working with this function, this fraction, okay? So let's write here, note that 3 over 2 plus 3x, that is same as, now I wanna rewrite this in the form of 1 over 1 minus something. So 3 outside, so 1 over, this is 2 plus 3x, I need 1, so I can factor 2 out, then leaves 1 plus, there is no 2, but we factor 2, so we need to divide 3x over 2. If you distribute 2 inside, then you get back 2 plus 3x. That is same as 3, we can pull 2 outside as well, with 2, not outside, here. And this is 1 over 1 plus 3x over 2, but I need 1 minus something so 1 minus negative 3x over 2 now this is 1 over 1 minus something is in this form okay here's the x so it goes x to the n so this is same as now 3 over 2 now we can write the power series for this fraction that is n from 0 through infinity this negative 3x over 2 raised to n that's what we have here and this power series is valid when the absolute value of negative 3x over 2 is less than 1. Let's simplify this 3 halves n from 0 through infinity negative 3 means negative 1 times 3 so negative 1 raised to n 3 raised to n x raised to n over 2 raised to n and absolute value of negative of something is same as absolute value of that okay because negative 1 and absolute value of negative 1 is 1 so this negative we can ignore and this 2 goes on the top 3 goes on the bottom so this is same as x less than 2 thirds okay and now we kind of done so move this to inside so 2 means 2 raised to 1 so we can multiply this inside moving this inside same thing here 3 means 3 raised to 1 multiply with 3n then we get sum n from 0 through infinity negative 1 to the n 3 raised to n 3 raised to 1 when we multiply we add the exponents okay, n plus 1 x n over 2 n and 2 1 so 1 plus n or n plus 1 same thing and this is valid in this interval negative 2 thirds through through two-thirds or absolute value of x less than two-thirds.
okay so this is the power series for 3 over 2 plus 3x but we are trying to find the power series for natural log of 2 plus 3x and we saw here that anti derivative of this is natural log of 2 plus 3x so if we integrate both sides with respect to x then this gives us natural log of that plus some constant c all the time okay so let's integrate both sides with respect to x with respect to x okay we get so basically i'm just integrating this with respect to x integrating with respect to x then in the left hand side that anti integration is natural log of natural log of so we get natural log of 2 plus 3x plus c look at here in the right hand side we can do term by term integration and this integration with respect to x everything else is constant so just go for x n so the sum n from 0 through infinity negative 1 to the n 3 raised to n plus 1 over 2 raised to n plus 1. Now integrate x n. That's x n plus 1 divided by same thing. Okay, and this is valid for x absolutely x less than 2 thirds. We are almost done, but here is c. We need to move c over. First, let's find the value of c. And this power series is valid whenever x is absolutely x is less than 2 thirds. This is same as x is in between negative two thirds and two thirds. So let's take x equals zero. We get natural log of two plus zero, just two. Okay. Plus c. In the right hand side, when x equals zero, zero raised to something is zero, so everything is zero. That implies c equals move natural log of two other sides, so negative natural log of two. Now plug this over here, then we have natural log of 2 plus 3x plus c, c is minus natural log of 2 equals this power series, negative 1 to the n, 3n plus 1 over 2n plus 1, x raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1, okay, and finally we want to move ne negative natural log of 2 to the other side okay this is to move to the other side we get the power series for natural log of 2 plus 3x that is n from 0 through infinity 3n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 x n plus 1 over n plus 1 this negative plus natural log of 2 and the interval of convergence is here okay and it is true for two-thirds negative two-thirds to positive two-thirds okay final